In this video, we're going to go over material or color ID, which is where you have a texture with several different colors on it that will be representing your different materials that you use in your texture editing programs, such as Substance Painter, Quixel Mixer, or Armor Paint. So there's an easy way with an add-on to do this, and there's a harder way without an add-on. So we'll start with the easy way. You're going to want to install Text Tools, which is a texture and UV editing plugin. There will be a link down in the description to where you can download it. And you'll get a zip, which you will have to go to Edit Preferences, go to Add-ons, and then just click Install. And then you can install your zip. So now that we have our text tools plugin enabled, we can go into the UV editing tab and we can go to text tools and then color ID. And now we're going to have to set the number of colors. So it has presets for five code and more. Maybe we want a lot, so we might go with the rainbow. So I'll just go with the five code and then I'm going to lower it to three since I only need three right now. If you increase it far enough, you may end up having some grays at the end that you'll have to manually change your color to something like that. But we'll just use three. You can also possibly convert it from materials or directions, but I'm just going to go and select red. Click this to assign that to everything selected. Go to three, face selection, select blue. Assign that, then I'll just hit this, use control plus to add that, and I'll use green, and then we can bake it. We have our settings here, which will represent the size of our UV editing window as well as our big texture. So it's 512, 512 right now, we'll just use the default here. Now we can choose our type. Now, I believe material ID should work. However, I haven't been able to get it to work on any models newer than something I've had from 2.79. So I'm not sure if I messed up a setting or a setting was changed that makes it not work. But as you can see, when I bake it, it just is black for me. But on older models, it's working fine. So I'm not sure. But what we can use is we can use the fuse. We can bake that and then we got our material ID and then we can just image save as and we're done. Now, if you actually have multiple different elements in it and you want each element to be its own color, you can actually just use the element ID and hit bake and it should work without having to set up any of these materials here. You can also bake your material ID from the diffuse with whatever materials you might already have, if you already have them, such as here. I can just hit bake and I don't have to use the color ID here. Now, the harder way we can go about doing this is we can remove these materials and start over with a new material. So I'll make this say red. I'll go into shading, hit shift A, add an image texture, and I will hit new material ID and we got our new texture and then I'm going to want to actually add I'm going to select that material and I'm going to hit this two to duplicate it and I'm going to make this one maybe green and then I will add another one and duplicate that as well Uh, something like that. And then I can hit tab in and assign and assign. And it's important that all three of your materials has this texture in it, the same one. And I'll have this texture selected. I'll go into my render settings, go to cycles, go to bake, diffuse, and then I'm going to have only color selected, not direct and indirect, since those are lighting. And we don't need lighting in this. And I'll turn down the render to one since we don't need any extra samples for the lighting. And then I can just hit bake. And then we'll get our color ID like that. 
Then obviously I can say this out without having the alpha so that I don't have the transparent behind there. You could also, instead of using this, use vertex colors and just have a vertex color node. Then you'd just use your vertex colors instead of having multiple materials. That would work as well. If you liked this video and would like to see more videos on Blender and 3D modeling, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you.